Being a mother to teenagers, I acknowledge that the challenges of teenagers are real. Their feelings are real. This is Hope and Sharing, a forum for teens by teens, sharing real life experiences, challenges, and advices. I am Samuela, creator and host of Hope and Sharing. Talk to us, teens. guys welcome again to hope in sharing this is our fourth episode if you've been with us since our first episode till now thank you so much for being a part of the hope in sharing community as you know this forum is for teens by teens hosted by me we try to keep it real we talk about real life experiences and challenges that these young people go through and um, we just try to be very very honest and hopefully we can inspire, encourage someone out there and maybe who knows, even transform lives. So thank you for joining us. Today's panel is still four people and I'll just let them introduce themselves. Hi, uh, my name is Luna, I'm 16. My name is Celia and I'm 16. My name is Isaiah and I'm 19. My name is Trevor and I'm 19. Welcome. Thank guys you. and thank ladies, you. Thank you. No, I should thank say you. gentlemen mm. and ladies. Uh -oh. Thank you, Isaiah and Treble, <laughs> for joining us again. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I think today's topic is going to be very, very interesting. The topic for today is actually, um, is very interesting and current topic. And um, if you're watching us, you're already a part of the topic that we're going to talk about today. We're talking about social media the use of social media, and maybe sometimes the misuse or abuse of social media. And why is this topic relevant today? We live in a digitalized society, and that's just what it is. It's not going to change. That's how, and it's going to be even more improved and going much more in that direction than it is right now. As we speak today, there are 3.8 billion people that are actively using social media that's a lot so it's very 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 relevant and um, social media has really just revolutionized communication as we knew it before so it's very important so I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna go to the panel and ask them do all of you have social media yeah, yeah. yes mm -hmm. how many social media do you have Trevor I have Snapchat, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. I watch TikTok. Okay, so you can watch TikTok and not be a part of it? Yeah, yeah. Facebook, do you have? Yeah, Facebook, but I don't use you that. You don't use it. Um, Messenger is the same as fa Facebook. Yeah. Mm. I don't use Twitter. Mm. But, but do you have a Twitter account? No, I don't. You don't? No. Okay. I don't know how to use it. No, no. What about you, Zaya? Um, I have Snapchat, Instagram. That's the, the ones I use the most. Mm. Um, Facebook, mm. I actually don't use Facebook that much. Messenger mm. is only for like people I don't have on uh, mm. yeah mm -hmm. on Snap and Insta, and then I use WhatsApp for family. Mm. 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 Okay. And then it's the same. I just watch TikTok. I don't post. You don't have anything on. No. You don't have an account. I do have an account to okay. just watch, but I don't ah. like text or. Like, okay. I'm okay. not active. That's mm. that. Mm. What about you, Celia? I have Snapchat and Instagram I use, mm. uh, and then I also have Facebook and Messenger and WhatsApp uh, to uh, communicate with my family or friends that I don't have on Instagram and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And then I have TikTok as well that I use ju just to watch mm -hmm. that post. Okay, so you don't post either? No. Oh, quite interesting. The three of you have TikTok, not too, yeah? Um, it's basically like everyone else, but Facebook, I actually deactivated my account um mm -hmm. like my account but now i use it for work because mm. we have like a little facebook group yeah. so everybody can like communicate mm. over that but it's basically the same as everyone else so can i just ask what's the difference between you have instagram and then you said snapchat what what 
What can you do on Instagram that you can do on, on Snapchat? Uh, you can post pictures uh, on Instagram. Mm. You can post a pic and Snapchat. Oh. Snapchat is a 24-hour thing. Like you, you snap a snap, mm -hmm. and then it will be in the my story mm -hmm. in 24 hours, and then it will. And delete. then it's gone. Yeah, but in Instagram you can post a pic, and it will be there forever until you until you delete the you picture. You delete the picture. So if you guys are already watching us, like I said, you're using social media, but we like to define the terms that we're using so we all have a collective understanding. Well, one definition out of many says that um, social media define, is defined as a computer and internet-based technology that facilitates sharing of ideas, thoughts, and information through the building of virtual networks and communities. And that's what you guys are using it for. So I want to go, let's jump into it. What are, because we all, social media has its positive sides and it has its negative sides. Mm -hmm. But I want us to talk about the positive thing about social media first. What do you guys think are some of the positives of social media? Um, communication is mm. a very big part because mm. it's not every day that you can just walk over to someone you, you want to talk to. So you can use basically every platform mm. to contact your friends mm. and it's also a great place to meet new friends mm -hmm. so yeah for like the for like the communication sake it's yeah you know yeah meeting everyone and talking to everyone whenever you want basically yeah yeah there's no time limit or something exactly right? like yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i think there's that as well yeah yeah mm. what do you say yeah yeah that's a good so that's point not the only positive <laughs> about also you can reach out to a lot of people through social media mm. than if you have to do it like in real life. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And uh, to share uh, your experience. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, yeah. Like yeah. if you're out of town, mm -hmm. like you've traveled, yeah. you just post a pic, oh, I'm in Paris. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I like so that. Yes. Yeah. And it, yeah. yeah. And it boosts long distance communication because like for mm. some of us who have family abroad, like you're saying, Luna, we can't just take a bus to exactly. our family or, you know, or just anywhere. It boosts that as well. Yeah. It connects people with social, with common interests, mm. you know. Also because of this Corona. So it's good to have the social media yeah. to contact that is the true. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's people. so true. Yeah. Especially now we're doing social distancing. But the good thing about social media, you don't have to social distance no. on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're exactly. still in touch with people, huh? Exactly. Yeah. And then for you guys that are musicians, uh, you know, singers, mm. rappers, you still, you can post your events. It helps you to do mm. that as well, right? So it's not just only for, like, fun or taking pictures, but mm. it also helps you to reach out to your... Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's a great way to, like, promote. Mm. Especially also, um, for an example, Instagram, they have a section called promotion. So you can pay mm -hmm. a small fee yeah, for it yeah, to yeah. reach out to many more people than just your followers. So yeah. you can promote your businesses, your music, everything yeah, you, you yeah, want to yeah. reach out with. Because the thing is, actually, a lot of, like you were saying, you use it for work. A lot mm -hmm. of corporate businesses, are, are, you know, the corporate world is using it. Schools are using it. Do you guys use that in schools? So do you have a Facebook group? I yeah, think we so. actually do. You yeah. do, huh? Yeah. So basically, social media is a great tool if you use it in moderation, mm -hmm. right, and wisely. Um, there's actually a statistic that was done by UNICEF. I don't know if you guys know UNICEF. It's a children's mm -hmm. organization. And they actually proved that um, social media has an overall positive effect on youth. Mm. the way because that's your natural way of communicating now compared to when I was you know when I was younger so that's not bad now let's talk about some negatives of social media mm. can you guys just just shoot what do you think are some of the negative parts of social media it can really damage your self-esteem mm. um, like contrary to if you're actually not watching someone but like from behind their screen you can never know what they really think so i could be posting i'm living my life i'm doing this i'm doing that and actually behind my screen i'm very very depressed and i'm mm. doing this and i'm not feeling well but to mm. my followers it looks like i'm living yeah. everything and i'm just not living my truth mm. so everyone can think of me like oh my god she's so you. cool she's so 
uh, and yeah. she has so much money and she's doing all this while I'm actually not. So it creates like a fake expectation mm, okay. for someone to live up to. Yes. When it's not really realistic yes. at all. Yeah, that's mm. true. That's a very good point. Mm. Mm. A lot of girls become sad mm. when they look at uh, models because they have a, you know, maybe skin skinny body mm. and they want to be skinny. So it can also damage your um uh, the way you look at yourself yes yeah. yes that's very good and we're gonna come back to to that mm. and 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 actually social media I'm, I'm glad that you said girls because a lot of studies have showed um that especially girls somehow um use social media to validate themselves yeah. and it affects girls more than more than boys mm. yeah, yeah in that way so what are some of the negatives that you guys can think about? Uh, so like seeking approval from other people. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um, posting what others would like. Mm -hmm. For example, if you're a girl, mm. maybe you post things that wakes more attention mm. instead of just posting what you do or what like yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, yes. Yeah, got you. So I'm thinking, all right, we've mentioned some of, can we talk a little bit about cyber bullying? That happens a lot yeah. on, on, on social media. And um, first of all, before we even define what's, let's, how would you guys define cyber bullying? Basically bullying, mm -hmm. like um, through social media. What are some of the things that could come under, like if someone is thinking, am I being bullied? Is that bully or is that, yeah. Um, I think the top one is maybe like hate messages mm. and like comments mm. from someone you know or do not know, mm. but it's just people get such a more courage mm. when it's behind the screen. Yeah. It's not to your face. So they can be all like, mm. oh, you're this and you're that, blah, blah, blah. But when you so like confront them, mm. it's all gone. Yeah. Cause it's not behind the screen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So people are much more brave when they're behind the screen. Very. They can post all co kinds of things. Yeah, trash you, mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people also um, do a fake account. Oh. Yeah, and then right through there, like. Okay. Um, they will. They wouldn't. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so they won't use their own. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they wouldn't use their own account mm -hmm. to show that it's them. Hmm. Yeah, so they That's write very coward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very coward, and and I'm sure they're they're creating that account in order to be nasty, yeah, yeah through that account. Yeah. Wow. No filter. Then they can just write mm. all type of stuff. Wow, wow. In association with that, mm. I actually knew someone mm. um, who had created a fake account. Mm. Um, and they was um, they were like sending hate messages to me and some of my friends And well. you knew the person? I knew them, but I didn't know that, that it was <gasps> them. Yeah. So I like posted on my story and I was like, this person, does, does anyone know them? Because they had zero followers and they only followed me and my friends who mm. they were texting. So I was like, that's very suspicious. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out one day because the person told me, and it was like, it was just a joke and blah, 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 blah. But this person had actually hurt many, many, many people's feelings. Oh so I was like, goodness. that's so cowardly that you wouldn't stand up. Was that a friend of, was that someone you considered a friend at the time? Or at the time, real? I actually thought we were wow. friends, but Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. More. No, no. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Have Have yeah. you guys experienced it before? Yeah, Luna. Luna just said she, but. I don't think I haven't. I haven't. I'm not that active mm. as such for me to have. Yeah. Have so someone takes a picture that would be embarrassing to someone else and sends it to you. What do you do with that picture? I wouldn't do anything about it. Mm. Okay. You wouldn't say just anything about it. Someone send a picture to me mm -hmm. about someone else yeah i wouldn't like um i wouldn't send it further yeah but i didn't know how to handle it you wouldn't know how to yeah, handle it because mm. you don't know where the source is from yeah yeah so if i tell the person to delete it mm. a lot of people have the picture yeah understand so okay so yeah. the role that you would play you would, you would not send the, the picture further no 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 yeah, yeah. that's okay. what i mean uh, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so actually, cyberbullying defines, in, it includes sending, posting, or sharing negative, harmful, false, or mean content about someone else. Personal or private information, embarrassing and humiliating someone else. Sometimes it actually even crosses into being a criminal act. So if someone sends a negative picture to you, you know, about somebody else, the best way that you can do is 
best thing that you can do is not to forward that picture mm -hmm. or to say oh you know and yeah. start teasing because then even without you knowing it you're you're, you're you know participating in bullying someone else and that's not a nice thing and i know it happens a lot within you know mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> within the mm -hmm. yeah uh, let's talk about body image what comes to your mind when i talk about social media and body image celia you've touched it a little bit Mm. Yeah, when I think about body images, I think mostly about girls mm. because there's a lot of girls um, who are insecure about their bodies mm. and maybe wants to be skinnier than they are mm. or maybe to gain a little bit weight mm. weight if they're too yeah. skinny. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of girls who actually um, starve themselves to lose a lot of weight mm. um, and that could cause eating, eating disorder. disorder. A weird thing about body image is mm. um, many girls my age mm. and even younger, mm. we look up to these models, mm. these grown women yes. who have grown women bodies, mm -hmm. who have had plastic surgery, BBL, yeah, you whatever, mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem to cross anyone's mind. Mm. Like I can catch myself, someone like looking through Instagram and be like, oh my God, yeah. and I look like this, like blah, yes. blah, blah, blah. Yes. But then again, I think, hold on. This woman is grown and she has a lot of money and probably has filtered in her natural appearance in some way. So I shouldn't be you know, mm. thinking too much about it, but I really do. Mm. And it's something that's hard for many, many, many girls. Yeah, yeah. Do you experience that as well, if you want to be honest? Do you experience sometimes, like, when you look at someone, you look at their skin, you look at their... Of course. You feel... Always. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Celia? Yeah, me too. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how do, you do, how do you bring yourself back to reality? Um, like, if it was a year ago, mm. I might even not even like have brought myself back to reality mm. and I'm just be like oh, and I looked at this but now I've gained way more confidence and be like okay yeah and so what she's pretty in her way and I'm pretty in my own so yes it doesn't yes. have to be yes prettier than me or uglier than me it's just I find my own way that you know? is so true and I think the key word here is to remember that most of those reality it's a filtered reality exactly. mm -hmm. you know so I just to be clear, if you, you know, what body image, the definition, so it's really clear. It says it's a person's perception of their physical self and the thoughts and feelings, whether it's positive or negative, as a result of that perception. So it's how you look at yourself. How do I, when I look at myself, do I feel ugly? Do I feel like my nose is big or my head is big or, you know, how you perceive yourself. And what about you guys? Um, now we've talked about the girls. Let's be honest here, like, how does that affect you, like, body image? Like, you look, at, you look on social media and you see this guy with big, tough mm. muscles and biceps and triceps all over the place. Mm. How does that affect you? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't affect me mm. that much. Has it affected you before when yeah, you were young? Yeah, I think it's, mm. it has. I started working out, mm. then, yeah, I started gaining some muscles, mm. and then, yeah, I started get, getting... Confidence. Mm, mm. Yeah, a lot of girls approaching me. Oh, you have a sexy body. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, and that boosts your confidence. Yeah, it boosts my confidence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What about you, Zaya? When it you see, really uh, it hasn't too. really affected mm. you when you look at social media and you see other guys like, mm. no, it doesn't. No. I'll be looking at pictures and like, oh, that's like the body type I would like. Mm. that's a nice body type mm, mm, you know mm. if I started gym because I there was a time that I started going to the gym as well mm -hmm. and I was like okay this is like my goal so it you use affect, that as yeah. an inspiration exactly mm. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah 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 that's really good instead of it kind of like putting pressure on you uh, to, to look like them no, 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 no. yeah and I think it's also important um, if you're looking at, you know, if you're, if you have a social media, like Luna was saying that you have to remember that most of these pictures that you see, they are filtered and some, you have no idea if those girls like Celia is saying that if they have eating disorders or these guys that are all pumped, if they're using steroids or if it's the real skin or, you know, all these filter that are on social media. So you never use that to, to, you don't put your value in that. I think you can, you, you can look at social media, look at other people and say, oh, they look good, and then just move on and don't let it affect your self-worth. So that's one thing. So we've talked about body image. I also want us to talk about likes and comments mm. and views and all these things. How important is likes, comments, and views to you guys? 
Um, for me, when I was younger, mm -hmm. um, I felt like if I had many followers, yeah. I would like get approved to many people. Like they would look at me, my f feed, mm -hmm. and say, "Oh, she's cool. She got a lot of followers and mm -hmm. many likes and stuff like mm -hmm. that." But when I got older, mm -hmm. I was like, "Wait, I have a lot of these people. Um, I don't know. I just." followed a lot of people and then they followed me back and then I all unfollowed them mm -hmm. just to you know get many followers okay wait oh, wait wait yeah, yeah. 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 hustle so, <laughs> so so you would follow them and then they follow you back and then you unfollow them yeah but do they know when you unfollow them or they don't no you, ah. you don't get a, notif a notification that says that I unfollowed ah, them okay yeah that is <laughs> that's actually very funny yeah but then I got older and then I was like wait what am I doing <laughs> yeah yeah then I removed all of the followers and now I only you know follow people that I want to follow okay so Celia when you say you got when you were younger how young are we talking about? Because now you're 16. Like, how are, we, are we talking about when you were 15 and a half? <laughs> um, I think around when I was around 13 years old 13, yeah. to 14 and a half. Yeah. 14, yeah. Okay. Or maybe 15. Maybe 15. 15. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. your honesty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I just. Uh, yeah. stopped following people and mm, mm. yeah I only now follow people I want to follow and yeah. I only got people following me that I know or okay. have an idea of okay of who they are yeah yeah so you don't go fishing for followers no. anymore <laughs> no what about you Luna likes comments how important is it to you for me I don't know the importance of it has kind of like fallen down or lowered itself but I used to it wasn't about the number it was more about who liked it because it was, a, mm. if it was a girl from okay. our school, it was like popular girl. So I was just like, oh my god, if she doesn't like my post, yeah, what am I? You know, I was, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. really, I wasn't focused. Just girl or also guys. Once there was this one boy, who I, <laughs> I was really, I really wanted him to like my post. Mm -hmm. So I sent it to him, <laughs> and I was, I was, twelve or thirteen. So, mm -hmm. But I was like, everybody go like my post. But I wanted him to like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't care if it was 50 people who liked it. As long as that. As long as that one person did. Mm -hmm. So it's still sometimes I can catch myself being like, okay, mm -hmm. but why doesn't my best friends like my post? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a support that yeah. you get. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't really about the number. It was more mm -hmm. about the who, people. Who liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah and Trevor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honesty. Also. <laughs> How uh, important is likes to you? Um, for me, right now it doesn't really affect me in mm. any type of way mm. as long as i like the picture mm. that i post mm. then i'm happy with the picture you know mm. i don't really care about what other people think mm -hmm. but when i was younger mm. maybe i was like i wasn't fishing for likes mm -hmm. or followers mm. but i wanted like mm, you wanted it yeah i wanted like many likes mm -hmm. Or it would look good on my page if mm. I had like yeah. good amount of likes. Mm -hmm. So like my friends were like, "Oh, mm -hmm. you're cool. Yeah. You have a lot of likes." Mm. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Trevor? Yeah. Like when I was younger, it was. Hey, I, was I like the way you guys are saying when I was younger. <laughs> hey. Okay. So it's not happening. <laughs> no, it's not. When I was younger, I was I was fishing for likes. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, I felt like the cool kid with the likes. Yeah, yeah. yeah but for now it's like. So <clears> which <throat> one is much more important, the likes or the comments? The likes. The likes. The likes. Yeah. Yeah, the the comments. comments. It doesn't matter. Like, no, oh, you no, look cool. No. Nah. No, no, it's the likes. Okay. So I want to put this to a test, and I want you guys to be very, very honest. I'm gonna ask Trevor something about Isaiah, and you tell me how you think Isaiah would react. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm coming to you. So listen to the question as well. Okay, the scenario. So Isaiah, first of all, let me ask you, when you post a picture, is it a picture, do you like, okay, this picture, I know it's going to get a lot of likes. This is a good picture to put. Or it doesn't matter, you just post. It's just what catches my eye. I'm, I'm, okay. Or if, if I'm like, okay, I look better here or mm, mm, mm. this and that. It's not mm. what I think other people would like. It's just, yeah. I think mm -hmm. I look the best here. Yes. Yeah. And then I can send it to my friends and be like, do y'all like this picture or something? But mm -hmm. it's mostly my own opinion. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. So now I'm gonna I'm setting up a scenario. So Isaiah goes, he takes a picture, mm. 
it's a very, very good picture. He looks at it and he says, oh, this picture is so nice, I'm going to put it up. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah puts it up on social media. And after 30 minutes, Isaiah checks his social media. Mm. Zero likes. Mm. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. One and a half hour, still zero likes. Mm. How do you think Isaiah would react? They would delete the picture. Yeah? He would yeah. delete the picture? <laughs> delete the he would picture. delete the picture even after one and a half hour and no likes? Even after 30 minute, minutes. Hey, of okay. Isaiah, how would you react if, 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 <laughs> if you posted that picture? I think I would just let it be there. Mm -mm. Yeah? <laughs> okay. No, All right. Let me tell you why. Because you have the followers. Uh -huh. You get me? Yeah. So how come we ha have so many followers and then zero likes in 30 <laughs> minutes? He would delete the picture. Mm -hmm. Is that so you don't think you would delete the picture? I don't think so. You don't now think? I, I don't think so. No. Okay, so I'm going to ask you now, Is there? Yeah. So the same scenario, yeah. after two hours, Trevor checks, and then there is one like. Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Three hours, one like, and then that emoji with the dark shades. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think Trevor would react? You would delete the picture. Hmm? Would you delete the picture, Trevor? Yeah, well, listen. Wh but why would you delete it? <laughs> then I feel I'm not good enough. Hey. Yeah, then I feel I'm not good enough. Like, mm -hmm. I like the picture, mm -hmm. but other people don't like the picture, then, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to come back to you on that one. And thank you for that honesty. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, Celia and Luna. Now, Luna, how do you think Celia would react? Definitely, she would delete it because of also her follower count. Mm -hmm. And if she posted on her story, like, go like my picture or... But do people look, post on their, yeah, on their thing and say, go like my picture? Yeah. Like, <laughs> repost the picture so she can get more likes or something. But if she reposts it... Luna, no, no, let me understand. Mm. So, <laughs> do you write it on your wall and say, go and like this no, no, picture? No, no, no. It's like, you can repost it and then put it on your story and just like, new post or... Tap in or something uh -huh. so people are aware. I posted something new. Uh -huh. Go look at it. Okay. So if I don't know how many people watched your story, but a lot of people watched it and no one liked, I think definitely she would delete it. I would. Celia, so, so yeah, would you delete it? Yeah, I would. All right. All right. What do you think Luna would do? I think she would delete it too. So you would delete it? <laughs> yeah. So now I want to ask the three of you. Luna, Celia, He's lying. and four. Trevor. Four. He's lying. <laughs> the four of you? Yeah. Okay. Why would you guys delete the picture? Why is it important that other people like the picture? If you initially liked the picture, you took the picture and you saw that it was your best angle or your good angle, you liked it. Why would you delete it if other people don't like it? It wouldn't look good in my, on my page. Mm -hmm. mm. I have a lot of likes mm -hmm. and then the recent post, I got zero likes. <laughs> so delete it. Just Let me ask one thing. Okay. So what's the difference between now and then? As I said before, I was fishing for likes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not that I'm fishing for likes now, mm -hmm. but as an artist, mm -hmm. forget zero likes. Mm -hmm. You will not get respected. <laughs> you make a picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you okay. can't come with zero likes. Mm -hmm. And then over 1,000 watches your story. Like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense. Okay. You can manage to have zero likes. Let's say... I would understand if you say less than expected. The reason why I asked about zero likes because mm. you said that likes, it's not, mm, it's mm. not that important. Mm. Let's say you have sixty likes, mm -hmm. it's still lesser than what you usually have. Mm -hmm. Would it? Would it matter? It wouldn't matter. I still have it there posted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Celia and Luna, I want to hear why would you guys delete the pictures that doesn't have enough? If like? it was less than expected, I wouldn't because mm. then again, it's I still have that part of me that likes the people, not the amount. You know. Mm -hmm. So oh, if. Yeah. My, my close friend liked it and they was like, oh, you look so good here. Mm -mm. So I get, okay, they like the picture, I like the picture. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't care about the, like, the remaining followers who mm. didn't like it. I just, the zero likes, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it, that's does the one. it does something yeah. to you. Yeah. 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 Might as well just keep the picture for myself. You might as well just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. that's a good point. All right. Have you ever deleted a picture because it had less likes? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh -huh. Back in the old days, when in I the was old way days younger. when she was fifteen and a half, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, uh, if I posted a picture mm. and it didn't get, you know, enough likes, yeah. 
it just just yeah. don't look good on yeah. my page. In the pages. So, yes. Okay. So, I so you honest, it. you have deleted a picture. Yeah. Have you Luna as well? I actually don't think so because okay. my first Instagram account it was a spam account. So mm. I posted whatever I wanted. Mm. I was like twelve. Okay. So I posted a picture of a plant and a picture of my friend and a mm, unicorn. Mm, mm. I was like, look at me, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it didn't really matter. But mm -hmm. then I got older and I posted more like selfies and stuff like that. Mm. So it just, yeah. I don't think I ever did that. No. Okay. What about you, Zay? Have you ever deleted a, a picture of social mm, media? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But I've deleted old pictures. Old pictures, That yeah. was in, on my account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not just deleted pictures. Yeah. And, and, and the, the interesting thing is this is not... It's not only for the young people. I mean, this is also for people my age as well, because we are, like you're saying, we are in this social media time, this, you know, digitalized mm -hmm. world, and, and what other people think sometimes matter, you know? So, but it's just so, I think the sad part is when you, when the likes and the comments is what you use to add value onto mm -hmm. your life. It shouldn't be like that, because the thing is, the most important thing is if you put a picture that you like, mm -hmm. That should be enough. Exactly. And if other people like it, then that's just a bonus. But it shouldn't get you to the point where you say, no, no, if they don't like this picture. So if you're going out and you have your hair in a certain way and people don't like it, they don't give you compliments. You don't go back and change your hairstyle. So it's yeah, quite interesting. Another thing I want us to talk about is how time consuming social media is. How much time do you guys spend on social media, checking your social media? A lot of a lot of time yeah mm -hmm. i don't even know anymore <laughs> so <laughs> do you check your social media every hour yeah yeah, yeah you do yeah. Yeah. yeah i believe so from a wake up is the phone so as soon as you wake up is the phone so you're not even looking at the time hey or yeah, the weather is, yeah it is the time but it's the notification mm. then yeah I'll just. do you have your notification on yeah I so when you get yeah, I put it on there, uh, don't disturb, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't um, mm -hmm. make a sound, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I wake up, I just check it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Zayn? Mm -hmm. The same. You check it. You I check also it. have it on don't disturb, but when you unlock your phone, mm -hmm. the first thing you see is your unread messages, mm -hmm. so you click on them, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about you, Zayn? Yeah, that's the same. You check it? Yeah. All the time? Do you um, I check Snapchat a lot, mm -hmm. because... It's just where I communicate with my friends. Mm. Um, and Instagram, not that often as Snapchat, but I check it a lot too. Mm. And TikTok is just when I got time. Cause yeah. It's just an app where you can sit and relax and scroll through mm. TikToks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then there was also, a, a, how do you call it, a focus group study in Denmark. Private and public life of youth on social media. This study showed that actually a lot of young people do not even log out of their their social media they stay on like active and then but they would like check it frequently is that true can you yeah. guys relate to that so yeah. you don't actually log out of no. your so if someone goes on your social media it says that you're always online mm. yeah. so she could basically take my phone and post whatever she wants and it looks like it's from me because i didn't log out it just takes a lot of time if you want to hmm. it's know. also your personal phone so why should you log out mm -mm -mm. it's uh, yeah 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 Okay. It's something else if it was uh, a computer at home, mm. of course you would log out because yeah, yeah. the whole family uses the computer. Mm -hmm. I saw this um, study from WHO and some other international researchers that said that actually, I think it was in 2016, where Denmark, like the kids in Denmark, young people in Denmark were number one when it came to using social media. Mm -hmm. And also number one when it came to spending less time with their friends after school that was interesting for me to know because mm. um it's like social media is somehow replacing physical friends mm, you know yeah. um so i want to ask you you guys on the panel how much do you feel that social media sometimes rob you of like your time like when you feel that i should be doing some other thing you feel like you use a lot of time on social media where you're mm. like ah let me just put it off. Mm. When I'm about to sleep, mm -mm. when I'm supposed to sleep, mm -hmm. I still on my, I'm still on my phone mm -hmm. watching TikTok. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the time is just flying away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So the only time that you have your notification off is maybe when you're sleeping or maybe in school. In school, yeah. In yeah. school, I have to off my phone. You put your phone off. Yeah, because I have to concentrate. And mm -hmm. with my phone on, in my pocket, mm -hmm. I'll always take it up and just check. 
Mm. So yeah, it's a bad habit. Mm, mm, mm. What about you, Isaiah? Do mm. you f yeah? How do you feel about that as well? When I'm with my friends yeah. physically mm -hmm. and I'm on my phone, mm. I'll be uh, I'll be like, oh, we should like be with each other instead mm. of like being on our phones. Mm -hmm. When we're not together, we can contact. Yeah. You can be on our like, phones. Yeah, you just come, came to my next question. Mm. What about you, Celia? Do you mm -hmm. feel like sometimes social media takes up a lot of your time? Yeah, yeah. plenty of my time. Because sometimes when I get home from school, I just lay my bed, watch TikToks, and um, yeah, just relax when I should be doing my homework or something. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. then um, in the nighttime when I'm supposed to go to bed, I often sit up just to do my homework and okay. get to ba bed a way later than oh, planned yes and then wake up next morning so tired very tired yeah but it's my own fault yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but but that's i mean that's true talk you know because that's what what about you luna it's exactly the same because um like at night or like afternoon when i get home from school i could be scrolling through instagram and just talking to my friends and all of a sudden it's 3 a.m mm -hmm. and i should be sleeping mm -hmm. so it's it kind of it's a shame, mm. but it's also my completely my like my mm. own fault because I downloaded these apps and I spend my time on these apps and mm -mm. I consume my time on these apps. So I also have um, like a time limit alert. Yeah. So it says, okay, you've spent three hours today. Mm -hmm. Put it away. Do you respect that time limit? That's a good question. <laughs> I can also just put it on snooze and I can just like unlock it. Oh, you can unlock the time mm -hmm. thingy as well. Okay, all right. So sometimes I just. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me respect my own health and like my own yeah. mindset and just put it away and others, I'm just, mm. I keep it on me. So. Yeah, yeah. So we've talked, so actually you would admit that social media sometimes it, it interrupts your sleep, mm. Mm. right? Yeah. What about your concentration level? <laughs> Especially during now, because yeah. we, um, we're preparing for exams. Mm -hmm. I could be, okay, let me sit here and I have my phone all the way over there, mm -hmm. but sometimes I just walk over and just check it mm. and then it's right here so even okay. though there is no notification or anything ringing ding ding yeah because it definitely helps when i put it on do not disturb mm -hmm. but then when i pick it up from there i put it here mm -hmm. so i just have it close to me if someone's going to call or something mm. and i just keep picking it up yeah. so i should be putting completely like all the way mm. in another room before mm. it helps me mm. i'm mean, like addicted and it's disgusting to me how would you feel if you didn't check your social media for a whole day, be honest. I'll be happy. You would be happy? Yeah, if I didn't check. Because yeah. that's good. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think I would, I would make it. No, no. What could you do if you wanted to do that? Is that something maybe that you could look into? Yeah, I would, yeah. Gi I would, t I would give it to my mom mm -hmm. and tell her, don't give me my phone back. <laughs> yeah, <It's laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, what about you, Zaya? How, how would you feel if you didn't check your social media for a whole day? Yeah, I would be happy as well. Or like, be, okay, yeah. I actually didn't I'll depend on my phone today. Or like, I did stuff today mm. that didn't require my phone. Mm. So like, how can I say, like, I lived, Yeah. you know? Yeah. But yeah. So actually, when, but have you ever had times where you haven't checked your social media yeah. the whole day? No, many times. And many do you times. feel the difference? Do you feel like, oh, wow, I actually have so much time? Or do you feel like, oh, something is missing? I feel relieved. Yeah. You feel relieved? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You can you can you can relate to yeah, that as well. But at the same time, mm. when I think when I'm about to use my phone, I'll be like, Oh, let me see all the messages that, that mm. I've probably gotten mm. or see what I've like didn't see today. So, yeah. 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 So you end up using a lot of time as well trying to catch up on the things that you you're not necessarily well, just like the messages that's been sent okay. to me as okay. well. Yeah. So and I, do you know, know that actually a lot of studies and psychologists have linked the overuse of social media to depression mm. and anxiety in, in young people. Yeah, so it's actually, it's quite, it's quite serious. Mm. Now, have you guys heard about the term FOMO, fear mm. of missing out? No. You haven't? So, all right. So for the sake of um, not just Isaiah, but also you guys out there, fear of missing out on a social activity, it defines, it's a term used in this digital age, a social anxiety, other, other people are having fun without me knowing or you feel like you need to stay continuously connected to other people. What are they doing without me? Like, so you can't really, so actually what you guys are describing, like, you know, you feel like this mm. compulsive thing, like, oh my gosh, I need mm. to, you know, I need to, to check, to check the phone. 
after what you've said, do you think that you exp you have you have FOMO, some kind of FOMO? I don't think I have the whole fear of missing out. It's just sometimes when you look at like people's stories and see a party or people out eating or something, I can just be like. Mm. where was the invite but then again mm. i'm my own kind of person so i i won't ever like be why wasn't i invited blah 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 because mm. there must be a reason and it's not like i have beef with someone mm. so i'm just okay that's their thing and i can just scroll on mm. to doing something else so but i definitely know a lot of people are like very anxious about it and mm. like mm. Why, why wasn't i invited and where were you and i thought we were friends and it's just yeah yeah you know yeah have you experienced that at all um yeah mm. but that's just mostly when i um when i'm doing my homework mm. and my phone is laying beside me um mm. do not disturb mm. i often check it just to you know make sure just to yeah everything's yes. fine yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a kind of fomo because yeah you know i'm afraid that maybe my friends are discussing something and yeah something yeah, interesting just, is yeah, going precisely. on i just want to be a part of it yeah mm. yeah what about you Zaya? do you experience fomo um, like Luna said, mm -hmm. not the fear, mm -hmm. but like, let's say if Trevor went out mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't make it mm -hmm. uh, to like an event or something mm -hmm. and he like posts, I'll be like, oh, okay, so that's how it looks like. I would like to like imagine mm -hmm. how it was to mm -hmm. be there through his post or story. Yeah. But yeah. Trevor, you have football? As he said, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree with what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Luna. And Luna as well. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I'll tell you what study shows how fear of missing out or this like compulsive need mm. to feel like you want to be on your phone all the time. It has a very, very serious effect on your physical and mental health. In a way, it gives you mood swings. Like if you don't check your phone, you feel like... Oh, you know, you're irritable, you're mm. irritated or something. And uh, sometimes even it gives you low self-worth because if you're on your phone all the time, it's not, you're not always looking at positive things. Mm. Sometimes it's things that really gets to you or, you know, makes you sad. So it affects your self-worth, your self-esteem. It also increases your chances of being lonely because the more time you spend on your phone, you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not really in, in, in the company of other people. Mm. You know, and then also it weakens your physical bond with your friends, because if you're with your friends and, and I see it all the time, like sometimes I go out to the restaurant, I see even family sitting down and having a meal. Mom is on her phone. Dad is on his phone. Children on their phone. You're wondering, like, where, you know, where is the, mm. <laughs> the connection? Mm. You know, and I know for us, like in our home, sometimes I always try, like when we're eating, I'm, you know, telling my family, please, you guys, you know, mm. put your phone down. Let's just be together. So we really try to make our dinner time like a no phone zone, you know, but it's very, very, very difficult. And um, also sleep. You guys have been, you've been talking about that as well. Mm. It affects your sleep big time. Mm. It does. And when it affects your sleep, it affects your concentration level when you're in school. So all these things, your eating habit, you know. So, um, yeah, I think it's something that you guys could work on. How do you think is the best way to use a much more balanced way to use social media? The time limit mm -hmm. gadget that, for an example, iPhone has. Mm -hmm. It is helpful if you just respect it and mm -hmm. respect your own boundaries. So what happens when you've reached that time limit? What does it do? Then it covers the whole screen and says time limit reached. And then you can choose to just ignore it or mm. turn on your phone and respect okay. the time limit. But I also think it's really hard mm -hmm. avoiding getting addicted to your phone because mm -hmm. nowadays phones have all these gadgets like mm -hmm. alarm, maps. So you basically, mm -hmm. if I go to just check, okay, let me check the navigation and mm. see how I'm going to go to this place. So I check it really quick, just mm. to nothing else but the maps. Mm -hmm. But then everything and rushes then, in because yeah, everything yeah. is in the same little gadget, you know? Mm, mm, so mm. it's hard not catching up on everything. Yeah. So except, so like if you have a very, like a, a goal mm -hmm. that day or just check your maps, check your clock or check this, mm. just stay close to that one. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for you to just ignore everything else. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Celia? How would you advise? Yeah, the same as her. And sometimes, actually, when I went to ninth grade, ninth grade, mm. um, in school, I couldn't 
uh, concentrate because I was always uh, am on my phone. Mm. So I left my phone phone at home mm. and went to school without a phone, mm. just yeah. to you know concentrate on my school. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a good one as well. So if you know mm. that you have that problem, maybe just let the phone be physically away from you, mm. yeah. so you can concentrate. Because I mean, nine times out of ten, nothing is that important mm. that it can't wait. Mm -hmm. What about you, Zay? How would you advise someone? I don't really know how mm. to say it, but like, mm. if you're with friends and mm. family, mm. try to be with them more mm. and maybe leave your phone behind. Mm. Or when you're alone, you can use your phone. Mm. Mm. You understand? Yeah. 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 So when like, let's say you're waiting for the bus or train mm -hmm. or just sitting at home doing nothing, mm. you can use your phone. But yeah. like when you're with people, yeah. You interact with them as well. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. Trevor, how would you advise that? Yeah, as Cesar said, mm. like balance. Yeah. When you're out with your friends, mm -hmm. just keep the phone away. Mm. Show them that you're with them mm. and not your phone. Yeah, 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 because that's very important. Do you, can I ask you guys, do you guys get that you feel offended if you're with a friend mm -hmm. and you're talking to them? but then they're on their phone. Yeah. Mm. Do you? Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Just makes me feel like they're they're not listening to me. Mm. Like I'm talking to the wall or something. Yeah. Like sometimes I will hear, mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> but no, like not, nothing, nothing, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, did that happen? Just, mm, okay. Yeah. 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 So, and, and I think the, the best way to deal with that is also to be aware of it yourself yeah mm -hmm. to say okay i'm gonna try not to do that when i'm in the company of my family or my unless of course sometimes you do check it when you're with your family but i think what we're addressing here is the overuse mm. of social media it's not just going on social media but when you overuse it mm. yeah so that's really good mm. thank you so we all have something to do social media as we said it's a good thing mm. i mean it's not a bad thing in itself it's how mm. we use it that makes it good or exactly. makes it bad for us yeah. yeah thank you guys so much for being You're on the panel today You're and welcome. um welcome. yeah it's always a pleasure talking to you guys because i always get new knowledge and i try not to ha ah, to seem surprised <laughs> yeah. at times thank you so much and now i'll just focus my attention here hello to you guys my final um thoughts for today just to summarize what we've talked about as we said earlier social media in itself is not a bad thing it's a great tool of communication and um, it just depends on how we use it so use it wisely and use it moderately you be in control of your social media and not the other way around don't let the lives of other people that you see on social media distract you from your own life because you're living your own life and they're living their life. So try to be much more in the moment. Be present in your own life. And don't put unrealistic and unnecessary pressure on yourself because of the unrealistic um, reality and pictures that you see on social media. People always post their best life on social media, right? So just know that it's just a fraction of someone's life that you see on social media. Um, and most importantly, do not measure your value by likes or followers or comments or views. You're worth so, so much more. And I'm sure that if you spend time with the people that are around you physically, they will let you know what your value is. So that's where you should be spending most of your time. And um, true happiness and real value are actually the things that happen off social media. Like making connection to someone, making meaningful, meaningful relationship, nurturing those relationships, spending time with your family, your friends, your studies, all these things. That's what real life is about. And that's where your value should be within, not only, not on social media. And um, if you have fear of missing out, you should have fear of missing out on your family, on your own life, not on social media. And last but not least, your life is happening right now. 
in the present. It's not happening over there. So be in the moment, be present, be with the people that love you, be with the people that you love. Don't just tell them, show them by giving them your time. Thank you so much for watching Hope and Sharing. I hope you've got something out of this discussion today. I certainly have. And um, I hope to see you again soon for our next episode. And you know what I'm gonna say? If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and join the community. Thank you. Leave your comments, your thoughts, your perspective, any advice that you have, please leave it in the comment section. And also, if you'd wanna be a part of the, the, the panel, please just write me and let me know, okay? God bless you, love you, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Make sure to subscribe to our Hope in Sharing YouTube channel, and please click on the like and notification button to be notified when we upload the next episode with a new topic. Also, please let us know in the comment section below if there is a topic you would like us to discuss. We welcome and appreciate your support. See you next time and thanks for being a part of the Hope in Sharing community.